Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Casey Snyder again. I'm just hanging out uh, at a park here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Right now I'm just waiting on my Jeep to get the oil changed, but I just had some downtime. I went and got coffee and breakfast at a spot close by, and so now I'm just hanging out, uh, basically just reading about the akimbo. I just bought this for myself last week. Climbed on it once so far. I'm hoping to climb on it a little bit more today. For some reason, I just had this like motivation all week to just kind of touch it and play with it and get to know you know how to open it close it move it around adjust it been doing a lot of reading and uh, watching a lot of videos about climbing on the akimbo and just you know basically learning how to uh, adjust it and make sure it's set you know obviously it's going to be different for every rope and every uh, basically you know, out, outdoor condition and weight of your climber. And yeah, it's basically just one of those devices that like, I, I've been seeing some people buy these who are pretty new to SRS climbing. And I'm, I'm always surprised by that because this doesn't to me feel like an introductory SRS device because there's just so much more finicky adjustments you need to make. If anyone has tried this and they're not a fan of it, that's totally understandable. I can see even just from my own struggle with adjusting it on my first ascent and descent with this i was like geez i don't know if this is what it's all what it's cracked up to be you know i do think that it's a good good device it's going to be a really solid device it's super compact so yeah i've been basically trolling around on youtube watching dan holiday's videos about the akimbo one that he made just kind of saying how it's really not a device that's going to work for him and two, on his Climbing Arborist podcast, he interviewed the creator of the Akimbo. And a friend of mine on Instagram had recommended I watch that full interview. It gives you really good context as to how the Akimbo was, you know, conceived, how it was built, you know, what his reason for building this was. This is not necessarily a device that was meant to fit every single person in climbing style. I can see this being disappointing to some people as far as a climbing device goes and I'm really keeping my hopes up and I'm I kind of know the pitfalls of this device and I'm hoping to you know work beyond those because for myself I'm like not as fit of a climber as I used to be I'm a little heavier than I typically would be so I'm basically learning this device kind of in my worst uh, shape I've been in in a while so you know I, I'm not over hyped on it I'm not um, set up to be disappointed basically like I already know that I could have some issues and this you know in a year might not even be in my kit anymore this could be passed on to someone else or hanging up on my my uh, climbing uh, cave wall I hope I, I hope I get good at this so it's just so damn cool like such a cool device like I, I love how that scissors open I love how it sets up on a rope. I don't have a rope with me today. I've literally just been carrying around the akimbo like it's like a toy, because it is. I just, I love it. You know, at this point, um, I'm gonna I'm doing this kind of vlog with it, but I do want to do a little more in-depth uh, conversation video about this. Talk to me. Let me know what you want to see or what you want to know or tell me about the akimbo. All right, go cut to Casey about to get in the tree. Hey, what's up? So I was talking to you guys yesterday about my Akimbo and I've been kind of playing around with it at home. I'm out here at the U of M campus doing a little climbing. I'm just doing a kind of low and slow thing today. I've got a small black walnut that I'm climbing in, um, basically just setting up an SRS um, climbing line with this Samson Hyper Climb with the Akimbo. So since I'm new to this device, I basically spent some time in my garage um, hanging from a line just from the center beam and uh, just basically trying to practice things like opening and closing it, putting it on the line. The best way I've found to easily put this on a line is to take the akimbo, obviously open it up all the way, and then with the akimbo text facing you yourself, upside down, snap on the line there, then orient it back upward and put it on the line. And then you basically just close the whole thing 
and it's on there. What I'm learning basically, you know, just to provide some tips, I obviously you have to work on, you know, your friction. Before I got the Akimbo, I didn't really understand how the friction, you know, changes. You change it out by kind of opening the whole device and rotating these pins. And I, I climbed on it once not knowing, I basically had these ramped up full friction and what happened was there's too much friction here on the bottom and it kind of bound up so basically I got to the point where I was closing the akimbo with my full weight on it and it still it was just barely sliding down. So bearing in mind that you want to have a little more friction on the top roller or bullard and a little bit less on the bottom roller. So that's kind of just one thing. Basically you just want to make sure you're getting this device to open as much as you can. So if you already have had some previous interest in the akimbo or have used it yourself, you know, it just takes a little bit of dialing in when you first climb this on a different line, different conditions. So whether that's rain or snow, you know, basically anything that could change the texture of the rope could change how the akimbo runs. So obviously no slipping and I'm actually pretty happy with how it's opening. Yeah, I think that's really fair. Um, right there, so barely any extra um, adjustment. So again, just doing a little bouncing to try to see if I'm getting any slippage, and I'm not. So I'm really happy with that, and I can come down. Ooh. So what I experienced when I pressed down on it, though, was a little bit more running than maybe I would have wanted. So it's kind of, yeah. So it was definitely running more than it was on the blue moon rope so basically again i just have to open her up and the way we adjust this is by taking basically opening this up and then rotating this piece it's hard to capture that but basically you rotate this piece that i'm touching and then you align it with the holes in there so once you're happy with the setting make sure that's all locked in you close this lock and that friction is set same process just on the bottom so now i'm actually a little worried i have too much friction i'm pretty comfortable with the condition that it's in and providing that i'm comfortable with just a little bit of slippage but an eventual stop then that's a perfectly safe setting to have that at. So this video is somewhat demonstration and somewhat just kind of me basically learning this device. I kind of did the opposite of low and slow. When I first climbed on it, I shot up a huge oak tree right away, and then it was just awkward coming down. Today I am gonna be trying out, I've never really used a hand ascender and mechanical advantage to help me climb. Basically you just set that on the line just above you, and you keep pushing that up, and clip your rope into that. And because of the way that the akimbo collapses, it's actually very well suited for that type of mechanical advantage because you have a nice smooth bend radius going up and around. You know, if you don't have a foot ascender, that's another way to give yourself some mechanical advantage.
feel like this device is very conducive for uh, how I like to climb back in the days when I was just doing a moving rope system. So it's very cool. So basically I can just unhook out of this, drop the hand ascender off to my side, and then I can just keep foot locking. I know a lot of people complain about this coming loose. I wish this was just a solid ring, honestly. As long as you keep more upright, you won't have a problem, but part of being efficient with foot locking is being able to sit back in and step up. Ugh. Keep moving up. Using my big, strong, manly muscles. Oy. There we go. I'm so strong. Black walnuts are just starting to release their pollen. I wonder if I can get a shot of it. Yeah, they're just starting to release pollen. You can see it on my hands. One of the coolest things about the akimbo is it being, you know, midline attachable but you're not pulling apart any pins or anything. You're just basically opening up the device and you're off the line. So it's super impressive in that respect, for sure. So now with my rope pulled all the way through and at a little bit nicer suspension point, I still have the akimbo just sitting on my ring. So I don't even have to take it off necessarily. I can basically press this down right here on the line, clip it on, close her up, get the slack pulled out and then I can take the weight off my lanyard and I'm back full weight onto the akimbo. So it's a really neat thing. It's really cool. I feel like the akimbo is, is definitely become, is a victim of overhype. You have this really neat device that's very innovative and then it just didn't work for some climbers. I stayed away from it and you know I'm basically three years removed from its release where I'm really trying to figure this device out. Um, obviously there's money. This is not a cheap device, uh, but it's on par with any of the other SRS or mechanical climbing devices. Let's see, let's watch our time here. I got my parking meter is good for another 45 minutes. So yeah, all in all, you know, first impressions, I'm very excited about the Akimbo and I want to keep learning on it. You know, it's not something I'm I'm always comfortable with recording me using new gear, but in this case, I just want to show off um, and share some of my initial thoughts about it. If you want to try the device, obviously there's limited ropes that it's recommended for. Um, I climb on a lot of 11.7 mil ropes, so this is perfect. And this is a Samson 11.7, but this is the exact same construction as the Blue Moon, Poison Ivy. You know, it, it's just a different color basically. So this I knew would work fantastic for this and so far it's proven to be the case i think that's all we're going to talk about for today thanks for watching subscribing all that stuff and we'll see you in the next one Okay, let's see if I got back in time to beat the meter. Oh yeah. <laughs> One minute left to spare.